How's everybody doing out there today? This is Scooter from Macintosh Tips. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm going to go ahead and go through a quick tutorial for you guys. Uh, now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did uh, post it out on Twitter if you guys want to see some GarageBand tips, and you guys got back with me and said yes. So, uh, today's the first one. It's going to be on how to fix off sync audio using GarageBand. Uh, it's really cool. They threw this into I, um, GarageBand 09. I'm not sure if it was in GarageBand 08, but I know for sure it's in GarageBand 09. And uh, if you don't have GarageBand 09, uh, it's part of the iLife package. So you can go to the Apple Store, pick up iLife, install it, boom, you got it. Or you can buy a new Mac, or you can just upload. I think you can upgrade to uh, Snow Leopard and have it all there as well. So three options there. Uh, upgrade iLife 09, upgrade Snow Leopard, or just buy a new Mac. Uh, any one of those options there, and you can get GarageBand 09. Enough of my talking about GarageBand 09. Let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy Alright guys, so I'm just going to open up GarageBand, located here on my dock for easy and quick access. Now, we've done a bunch of uh, tutorials on GarageBand, a couple. We've done an overview of GarageBand 09, and we've also done uh, the auto-tune tutorial, which makes you kind of want to sing like T-Pain and have the auto-tune voice effect on your videos. And it's a really cool tutorial, so check those out after this video. But for now, let's go into movies. So, open up GarageBand, new project, hit movie, hit choose. You're all set to go. Go ahead and name it. All right, I'm just going to name this uh, Tutorial or something like that. I don't know. All right, so it's going to open to this very intimidating kind of interface. It's kind of like, what do I do now? So let me just go ahead and show you. Um, this little movie marker place, you don't really need that for this tutorial, so we're just going to hit the scissors button. Over here is where you select your video in the media browser. Uh, now that you can select them from iMovie, the movies folder, iPhoto, Photo Booth, or even iTunes. Uh, now you don't have to have it in these locations, you can even just have it on your desktop here and you can just drag from there. But all you're going to do is just drag and drop the video you're going to use today. So I'm going to drag and drop my out of sync uh, audio, or video that's out of sync, quickly generates and from here I can just hit this little button here and this whole media browser will go away. So uh, the last thing you want to have on your screen is a preview. That way you get to monitor your work, see if you're getting closer to doing it, see if you're getting further away to doing it, things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and click this little picture here, and we'll get a movie preview. All right, so there we go. There I am. And we're going to hit space bar and watch the video. And I want you to notice how the video is out of sync. So also in this video, we're going to talk about how to go over GarageBand on 9 tips. Now, like I said, I love SpongeBob. SpongeBob's a cool show. My favorite food is pizza. I'm talking like nonsense right now. Um, so I hope this is a great video, guys. Check All right, stop it short there. But as you see, it's out of sync. Way it's off really bad. So we're just going to take it and make it in sync. Not the band, but we're going to make it in sync. So how are we going to do this? Number one, uh, here's a quick tip. You need to take the slider and move it to the right. That can kind of zoom in on your timeline there. It makes it spread out a little bit so you kind of have more room to work with. So now that I have that spread out, I'm going to play it again. And I want to figure out whether does the audio start first or does my mouse start moving first. And definitely my mouse starts moving first. If that's the case, then I need to move my audio up to catch up with my mouth, right? So as you notice, on the red little bar, on the red or orange, whatever you call it, the orange uh, timeline, You'll see at the first second or so, it's totally blank. There's no audio going on here because there's straight lines. There's audio going down here because of the squiggly lines. So you guys get that, the audio waveforms. So I'm going to try to cut off this, uh, the blank lines. That way I can move up the squiggly lines. So I'm just going to play. I'm just going to move my clipper all the way here to where the, the flat lines stop. I'm going to hit Command-T. Now this splits it in half. This splits the, the quiet, you know, flat lines on one side and all the squiggly lines on this side. I'm going to click on a random spot then click back on the flat lines. That way I can only select that one part. Highlight it. All right. Hit delete. From here now I can adjust my audio and move up and move it back. You see before I couldn't do that. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and play it again and figure out when does my mouse start, find the start of the audio and then move it together. Okay, I start about there. So I need to just drag my uh, audio up to the line. Oh, almost got it. All right, I can zoom in more to get really precise if I wanted to. All right, and now if I go back, here's what it sounds like. So also in this video, we're going to talk about how to go over GarageBand on nine tips. Now, like I said, I love SpongeBob. SpongeBob's a cool show. My favorite food is pizza. I'm talking like nonsense right now. Um, so I hope this is a great video, guys. Check it out and Twitter rules. Peace. Wow, there it was right there, guys. 
everything was right there. It was on sync. All I had to do was just cut something out, put it together, all in GarageBand 09. This is a quick tip, so don't have to re-export, don't have to refilm. Just export your video, edit it how you want to, and then move your uh, video, and then just go ahead and do it in GarageBand, guys, and fix the audio. And you can do all the same effects you do when you're making your music. So I could do the T-Pain voice effect right now, or the auto-tune effect, on uh, this clip, and it'll sound like this. It's not going to sound great, but... So also in this video, we're going to talk about how to go over GarageBand 09 tips. All right, so kind of, I mean, you can kind of feel it there. But uh, this is Scooter Macintosh tips. All you have to do for GarageBand tutorial right here. This is very simple. Uh, to obtain this video, you just go to Share, and you just send the movie to iTunes. It'll be a quick process, take about 30 seconds. iTunes will automatically open up. Then from there, just drag the movie into iMovie or drag it to your desktop or upload it to YouTube straight from there. Uh, so to get to obtain it, just hit send movie to iTunes and you're all good to go. Uh, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to cut it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have anything else you want to learn in GarageBand, comment below, guys. I'm always open for tutorials or requests for tutorials. All right, guys. Peace.